do you recommend buying these kits first? Um, the yeah, day, I mean, day. the kits are really good because they'll get you introduced to it, mm -hmm. and then you can see which parts of it that you like and everything like that. Um, I definitely think anything with a high strength two or three is a good one to go with. If you're doing the soft plastic kit, something like that, that would be a good one. Soft plastics are a great way to get into it because it is one of the easiest ones to make. You don't have some of the issues that come up with making hard plastics like I had on this one here where um, I didn't quite get the top didn't fill up all the way on there. I ran out of plastic and so that was my fault. I just didn't put enough in there. But um, these these things work really, really well. But the, the kits are a pretty good way to get going on it. So this pink stuff, what casting material? This is the high strength three. Power level six, not five. <laughs> this is why you want to stir it a couple times in between. Make sure it's going through all three of those stages. This is only need about another half a minute, I think. That, uh, the mold putty, though, that was a pretty good one, huh? The mold so putty is really good stuff. for lead, for yeah. doing something real fast. I don't know if I'd necessarily want to use it for, I guess you could use it for the soft plastics. I mean, Seems I just think you can easy. get more detail. It's going to really work itself around the, the tail. This stuff takes about 24 hours to cure. Yeah, um, this stuff, if you start pushing on the rubber, you're going to deform the rubber. That stuff, you just pour around the rubber. Yeah, you just pour it, let it yeah. sit, and you don't touch it. You don't want to mess with it for 24 hours. This stuff's probably do its good thing. for the leads. Because it's solid, you're something you're pressing against. So you can see this stuff is scorching hot. Um, so again, I'm going to use barely any dye, okay? I'm not going to use a whole ton. Um, the white, I'll probably use quite a bit of. stay pretty workable for a while or yeah this will stay you know fairly hot um, you do want to work quickly but you'll kind of gauge what you need um, fairly fast You're like the learning curves pretty quick you know like I could tell right there like oh, I didn't really have enough white in there so I'm gonna put a little more in um, I always make a habit of putting the tops right way back on the die because uh, that stuff you don't want to spill. A little bit of brown. Again, so you're not going to need a whole lot of this. Maybe like so. So with this, you can also add um, salt. So if you want it to um, drop a little faster, or if you want it to float, you can add micro balloons to it. So like you can pour the head normal, pour the tail section with micro balloons in it so you have a little different action on it. Um, and you can add glitter. So we'll add a little bit of a gold in here. I'm just going to pour it really evenly. If I pour a little bit over the top, that's fine. It'll peel itself right off. And so. Mark, you 
magic one. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, an inch, it's an inch too long. Well, it'll take a few minutes to cure up. Now. But what you'll end up seeing is that, you know you'll have a little bit of spillage over the top or whatever. Don't even worry about it. Um, that stuff will come right off.